Everybody calls her the miracle baby. From seeing the journey that she's been through and how far she's come and where she's at now, Kapilani is to us everything. My name is Kevin, this is my wife Sherilyn, and this is our daughter Callie Mae, and we're the Yees. Callie Mae received care from Kapilani Medical Center for Women and Children. So we actually made it to 23 weeks and our doctor told us that it's not a matter of when you're going to be at Kapilani, but you know, you're going to be there. I woke up that morning and I was spotty. So we actually went to the hospital and I ended up getting medevaced. They said, okay, wait outside of the ER, we'll come and get you in a couple minutes. Probably in the room there was about 15 to 20 people. Uh, everybody kind of knew their roles, what was going on. And then once she was born, the NICU team took over after that. At that young, 23 weeks and three days, your lungs aren't fully developed. So it was important for her to be put on a ventilator, something breathing for her, which you can't really grasp on until you see everything on her. She basically had needles and wires out of every part of her body. For nine days, we couldn't even touch her. She was put in the incubator, and they kind of mimicked like a womb. Just seeing her, like how small and fragile she was, it was pretty scary in the beginning. And then the doctors did a really good job, and the nurses especially, they did a really great job of explaining to us what was happening, helped us get there emotionally, and just all the different things to try to expect. She was born one pound, 6.6 .6 ounces, and she was 11.81 inches long, so a little bit short of a ruler. Her hand wouldn't even go around the top of our fingers. And that was like the first times we got to touch her, and we were so scared of just touching her. So we would, you know, they told us, just put your hands lightly on her, just talk to her, let her feel your presence. And she actually grabbed, or like kind of grasped, his finger, but you couldn't even see her fingers go around touch, to touch his nail. Her oxygenation, like her levels weren't as good as that the doctors were hoping for, so they'd have to keep increasing the amount of oxygen that she was getting. Whenever you do that, it adds more pressure to the heart and to her lungs, and so she ended up with pulmonary heart disease, and then also with her lungs, they said she had chronic lung disease. Finally being able to, to leave the hospital after six months being in there in the NICU, uh, basically six months to the day, she was basically the, the same weight as a baby being regularly born. So, you know, after all of those things, just seeing the, the progression that she went through, it was just, it was amazing. We're grateful for everybody that donates whatever they can. You know, it, it gave us the opportunity to share a life with Cali. 100% of the donations that are given to Children's Miracle Network and Kapilani stay in Hawaii and are used on medevac care, like what we were able to use. Um, a lot of the specialized equipment that helped keep Cali alive, all the donations go towards those types of things. And then once you see the technology, the equipment that they have there, you know you're in a really, really good place. You know, you're in one of the best places in the entire country. So for me, you know, I look at her every day and I think to myself, I don't know what, you know, what I would do without her. And I can't imagine if something did happen to her. <laughs>